These images from last month show what a powerful force water can be. This is the Rapidan Dam. A partial failure pushed the Blue Earth River around the dam, taking the home and land with it. That wasn't the only dam that failed. Minnesota is home to more than 1,100 dams, so how likely is it to happen again? Tonight, WCCO investigates the state of our dams. Senior investigative reporter Jennifer Merrily talks to Minnesota's top expert and shows us what's at stake. Across the metro and the state, dams control flooding on waterways, maintain lake levels for recreation, and help fish and wildlife. Some are big structures, others you might miss. Each has a hazard classification, from little consequence to catastrophic. It's a, in the sense of a hypothetical breach of the dam, what would happen? What are the consequences of that breach? Jason Boyle is a state dam safety engineer for the Department of Natural Resources. He says there are low, significant, and high hazard dams, like King's Mill in Faribault. What is the risk if one fails? For high hazard dam, the risk of a uh, dam failing would be potential loss of life. There are 55 in Minnesota, from Elk River to Burnsville to Cannon Falls. The DNR regulates about 30 of them, inspecting each high hazard dam each year. We're looking for things that might be different than the last time we were there. New areas of seepage or concrete that has deteriorated further, new cracks. Every dam has a condition. Lake Bronson in Kitson County is the only high hazard dam in the state in poor condition the most vulnerable to failure. It does not have the capability to pass that extreme event. The state secured $24 million in funding to replace the dam to protect the community downstream. Historically, the state has seen dams fail when it's not expected. 112 failures since the turn of the 20th century, mainly on low hazard dams. 41 have happened since 2000. Most notable, according to Boyle, is the Shady Lake failure in Orinoco in 2010. Floodwaters caused it to fail, which took out a section of the bridge. Those are unique circumstances. They do happen, and that's why we have to remain diligent all the time to monitor things. Rice County engineer Dennis Luby explains it's up to the owner of a dam to maintain it and make repairs. King's Mill here in Fairbo is a high hazard dam in fair condition. It's owned by Rice County. Anytime I think a dam would fail partially or catastrophically, it would have negative downstream consequences. Luby says the county follows state requirements, having an emergency action plan should something happen. Is that the idea, to have it be seamless, have it be a much quicker in an emergency situation? Yes, because time is critical, right? I've collected quite a few things, as you can see. David Crawl's family owns the hardware general store and has lived next door and downstream for decades. What have you thought about the dam, if, if that were to fail? Well, we had concerns about it that, you know, if it did fail, would affect a lot of people. He says he grew more wary after seeing the partial failure at the Rapidan Dam last month, but says he won't make changes. Yeah, I don't want to go anywhere. I'm, I've been here too long now. I think there's a gauge plate. We'll get a reading off of that. Boyle inspected the Kings Mill Dam while we were there, and we saw what he saw. We've got some debris that got caught up in this right gate. Uh, looks like a, a large tree got wedged in on top of the gate. Debris the county says it will remove so it doesn't create a bigger problem. Boyle says he's comfortable with the current state of Minnesota dams. It's about health, safety, and welfare of the public, and that's our primary goal is to make sure that's maintained. In Fairbo, Jennifer Merrily, WCCO Investigates. There are more than 70 dams in need of some level of repair that are on a priority list. Those projects are currently unfunded. If you'd like to see which dams are in your area, just head to WCCO.com to look at the DNR Dam Finder.